G'day, I'm Daka. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today, I'll be showing you my top five favorite locations to build in the Ash Heap region of Fallout 76. If you'd like to know more, then sit back, relax, and keep watching. The first location is just a hop, skip and jump away from the Rusty Pick and right next to Hornwright Air Purifier Site number 1. This spot is right on a pond that has two rundown cottages on either side. The location is pretty central if you're looking to sell some cheap legendaries that you can't script. I wouldn't try and drink the water, it's a little bit toxic. The Toxic Pool is a build I did here and is linked in the description below. The second location is just east of Lewisburg and Pleasant Hill Cemetery. This spot is a bit of a different one. It's a little bit hilly and there's also a silver deposit. It has a really nice overlook of Lewisburg and the Ash Heap in general. Like anywhere in the Ash Heap, this is a really neat little area to build something either scrappy or dark. The build Hallow mod is linked down below. The third location is near the edge of the map south of Nicholson's End. It has a spectacular view of Beckley and the Rockhound at Mount Blair. There's a small flat spot on the edge of a small cliff, perfect for building a tiny house or a raider camp. Speaking of raider camps, I actually built one here. The Ash Heat Raiders build is linked down below. The fourth location is high up in the mountains overlooking the ash heap, right on the edge of the map. Now this location, can I just say, this location for me is something else. It has one of the best views in the game. There's one path up and down the mountain, there's an enemy spawn right before hitting the area, and it's a great spot if you want your camp out of the way of other players so you can just be a hermit. I decided one day that the ally Settler Forager, lovingly known as Gramps, deserved his very own cabin in the woods, so I built it here. The video is linked below.
The last location is right in between Garahan and Hornright Estates, on the border of the Ash Heap and Savage Divide. This location is perfect if you want to have your home between two monstrosities. I mean, have you seen these mansions? Crikey, they're huge! Anyway, it's pretty uneven ground but it's definitely easy to work with and it's a really quiet area. The build, Appalachian Art Gallery, is linked down below. So this concludes today's video. I'll be showcasing the Savage Divide, the Maya and the Cranberry Bog in future videos and there is a playlist linked below of the series. So if you would like to see more and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like and leave a comment. You can also follow me across social media, join the Blood Dacker Fam Discord and if you wish to support me further, you can do so via Ko-fi. The links are listed below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.